Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Ninjago J Walker 1. This is set number 70731, 386 pieces, and it looks like it comes with four minifigures. We have J, we have Churka, we have Whale, there's Bansha, and then there's a ghost that's called Screamer. So that's like the, the fifth. It's not really a minifigure, it's like a a spirit that comes with the set. So um, I have a helper with me today who's gonna help build this. Say hi. Hi. There he is. Um, let's go ahead and cut this open and get right into the set. All right, so it's a kind of a bigger, it's a, you know, the, the, the width and height is about right, but it's a really thick, thick box. So I'm wondering what's making this box so thick. All right. So there's our contents. We have two instruction books. Instruction book one, instruction book two, a fairly small sticker sheet. We have these loose, big plastic wheels that were in the, uh, the box. So maybe that's why the box was so big. It's because they had those big wheels. And then we have some numbered bags. We have a bag number three, a bag number two, and a bag number one. So we'll move those others off to the side. There's the contents for bag one. I have two smaller bags. pile over there. And here's the other stuff. That's the real small stuff. All right. Let's start with instruction book number one. Okay. It's over there. The instruction books are over there. There you go. Let's move these wheels out of the way. Move the instructions out of the way. The kids at home don't need to see that. They just want to see the Lego being built. So, start with the minifigures. So I'll help you pull all the pieces together. Attaching accessories to hands can be sometimes difficult to clip them on. Then there is... Mm -hmm. I guess these ghost things on. That's the wrong part. Yeah. All right, so legs don't go on legs. How old are you? I'm, I'm not looking where I'm... You, know, you should look at the instructions. This, the torso you're looking for is the one that's on this guy. Oh. Not bad. I'll, okay. I'll put this guy back together with the right torso. Because everything else you had on it was right. We Wait. just had the wrong torso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because see, that one has mm -hmm. black hands. Mm -hmm. And these have the, like these ghost light, hands. yeah, light yellow kind of ghost looking hands. And so now we put that together. Okay. And then the mask goes on. There we go. And then we're going to build his little sword. And so it creates this cool goes. little um, like double bladed piece. Is that all? <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. cool. Now we're going to move on to Jay. Jay, the ninja. So that's a pretty cool little neck bracket piece. I kind of like it. Um, we saw a lot of those in the Ultra Agent sets. It gives you a lot more flexibility to connect things to the, the, the sides because it has these Technic pinholes and then there's the, the bottom part that you can attach Lego studs and to. And we have a sticker. Sticker time. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Technic pen that goes in the side like that. So now we're gonna be able to connect some stuff to it. So we put this in Jay's hand and then put the end of the whip into this little Technic pinhole, just like that. So now it looks like 
it's a hose of some sort coming out of his backpack that's shooting electricity. All right, one last minifigure. So we're building all the minifigures first. Masks. Yes. A little ninja helmet. So what do we have here? Another little weapon piece. It's in black, and then we attach this little tooth blade thing on there. And that attached to his arms. Create the um, the weapon. And then our Bring last it over here. A slime character yeah. is like this little ghost. Yeah. You bring it down here a little bit. So this is trans, kind of neon yellow colored, and it has a little ghostly print on it. Kind of slime thing. So here's what's cool about this ghost. I don't know if you can tell. Remove Jay's mask. You can see that slimer piece fits right over. And it's uh it's like on his head. Yeah, it fits perfectly on there. So it's meant to be some sort of head sliming, grabbing ghost spirit element. Alright, so what are we gonna do now? Um we're going to begin to build. Alright, let me help you find pieces. And if you got it right there. Mm -hmm. We're we'll gonna put it right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, mm, right there. Yep. And then we'll put this one right there. So this set is age ranges from seven to fourteen. And how old are you? No, I'm seven. You're about seven. To turn to eight. Yeah. So we've got kind of the lower age range of um recommended ages helping to build today then we have another mm -hmm. of this yep the four by four quarter round mm -hmm. it's in dark tan color basically goes right underneath this other yep. so these um these kind of uh lemonade yellow lime looking pieces these little pieces right here they look glow in the dark. They actually don't glow in the dark. It's very deceiving. With one of these fake glow in the dark pieces on the top. And then we're gonna have a little door. Yeah. There's no glass right. No, it's just the frame, a door frame. And then now we're gonna get Two of these. Two of the fake glow in the dark pieces. And what color would you call that? Um, just kind like, of a, it's like a yellow green. Like a light yellow green, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of yellowish, kind of greenish. It's like a yellowish green color or a greenish yellow. That mold, the shape was originally a droid head for like the Star Wars sets. And they started making a lot of them in unprinted style. So this is basically one of those kind of conical two by two droid head pieces. And then we're so this is a um, disc launcher piece. Don't shoot your eye out, kids. <laughs> Calling me. Yeah, don't shoot your eye out. Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these, Cole? No. You, so you don't know what it does? No. The only time I've ever seen them is some Chima sets that I built. And it shot out little discs. But those got disassembled real quick. Because nobody likes Chima, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Did you ever like any of those sets that I had? Kind of, yeah. You kind of like the Chima? They have weird minifigures. I thought this, the builds were interesting. There was a lot of different transforming and play features in them, but I didn't really care for the whole theme, kind of an animal themed sets or whatever. That was my thoughts. I know they weren't very popular and the part selection and all the sets were really not that great. It always is just a bunch of weird parts. 
So even when they're on sale, there's still a lot of Chima that's going on clearance. I, I still won't buy them because there's not a lot of good selection of parts in them. And these kind of look like crabs. They're actually, it's a scorpion shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These two. Mm -hmm. Not glow in the dark pieces. Two of the not glow in the dark pieces. That's the color we're going to call that. What color is that? Not glow in the dark. That's, yeah, that's the official color name of it. It's not glow in the dark. All right, so the instructions show this one scorpion actually scooted over one more stud closer to the inside. There you go. I got it. Got it? <laughs> Sweet. Let me, let me verify that you got it. It's kind of sticking out a little still. this off, attach it on there real nice and good, and then reattach it. Okay. All right, what you got next? Um, we're doing a little thing. A little, like, oh, this is a cool new little part. I've never seen that. Then we're going Holes. To So that's the disc mm -hmm. launcher piece I was telling you about. And there's just one extra? Yeah. Alright, so you just take it and you push this disc and it shoots out. Don't shoot. Oh, my eye! Yeah. Oh, I shot my eye out. Okay. And now we're starting with something else. Now yeah, we're going to start um, the J, J Walker 1. All right, so um, little man who was helping me had to um, go eat dinner and then he ran off and doing stuff with his mom now. So you're stuck with me now for the rest of the video. Ha ha ha. And everyone just left the video, didn't they? Everyone's gone now. So we're more or less building um, Jay Walker 1, the, the main vehicle in the set. Have some Technic bricks. Those are always fun. And I use fun in a sarcastic way. Um, they're actually very beneficial in the build because they make a very sturdy build. So, I guess what I'm getting at is I like to see the Technic bricks being used in the sets. Plate action going on. And a couple one by three tiles. This is going to be some sort of blade element that's going to be hidden underneath the bodywork of the car. So we have these golden blades. And this simply attaches right inside of this frame. Right there. And couple red or trans red tiles on the back and that completes the first instruction book so we're on to the second instruction book which also begins the second bag of parts here's bag number two So 
those pieces sandwich in the little blade piece so it is not going anywhere now it's in there for good until we take this apart and we have a big plate it goes on the top there pretty easy little build just a lot of stacking of plates right now just carefully make sure you get the right colors and get them located in the right spots it's really the only challenge at this point Some more plates. Tiles, black tile, blue tiles, That little thing, not quite sure what it does. I'm sure it's gonna connect to something and create some sort of play feature. The yellow slope, brown plate and a golden one by one round stud. We have some more Technic elements. We have a sticker. It's kind of a little warning stripe type sticker. And this simply attaches to the other side of that axle that was hanging out the side. Turn this back around. So the color scheme of this set is this navy blue and then just the regular blue color. It's a little bit of a mixture of both. And then of course the golden color. Which is sprinkled throughout. So 
here's some more of that golden color that's kind of accenting all the blues. Alright, sticker time. Stickers are numbered in the set, which help determine which ones go where. So we start with what's considered sticker number five. Catch it there. Sticker number six, which looks almost identical. There, we've got sticker number one. Goes across this tile. Sticker number two goes on the other side. Sticker number eight. Kind of like a control panel on the sloped piece. All right. We have six of these navy blue jumper plates, four on the front. Oops, forgot to put a plate there. So we got, like I said, we have four on the front, we got two on the back, and we have a two by two, just regular blue plate right there. It's there, and two more jumpers. So we have the little electricity bolt thing shooting out the back there. Next we have this crate that has these not glow in the dark color little discs. And we attach two two by six plates. We're gonna Kind of create a box that can be opened. Okay, and this gets sticker number nine, which is another one of the warning stripe stickers. And this whole piece attaches there, so it has a, a lid you can remove and access the not glow in the dark color discs. A couple Technic pins that we don't put all the way in yet. We're gonna attach some more stuff to it first and then attach them all the way in. couple of these little half round pieces and these were um, first time I saw these was uh, ultra agents so they're starting to reuse some parts from other sets or themes that 
just lays right on top of there. And then we can push in those pins all the way now. It creates this little opening door piece. All right, so we turn this over. Gonna attach this little piece for stability. We're going to create maybe a wheel axle area. One side gets a tile, the other side gets a plate. <laughs> All right, so that completes bag two. So we are quickly moving on to the third and final bag. Start with some more Technic pieces. So all those Technic pins line up with the Technic brick that we put on the beginning of this, this build. We have the kind of the same little setup on the other side with our friction pins. And the axle going through. So you can see all these pinholes we have on the side. They all line up perfectly, and that axle lines up to where it goes right inside that piece. Two more to do, and this one's slightly different. It just has just a single studless beam, not the L-shaped one. Slide that in, attach that, and this side, same deal, attaches right there. Next we have our big wheels, so inside of each one we're going to have this round tan plate with a round red tile that attaches in there and that tile is the variation that has the hole in the top that way when we slide this wheel on it actually will have somewhere to stop on so, let me do three more of those. Here's one, two, three. Here's the wheel, the wheel, and the last wheel. And I'll just simply attach each one. There we go, we've got our shape of the car going on now. Next is these large kind of tractor wheel pieces and they all slide into the opening of this giant hollow wheel to give the illusion of a blue wheel with black 
tires, even though these tires are actually just hard plastic. They're not the rubber, like typical Lego tires that you get. <clears throat> so next up, there's the wheel cap, or the, the hub cap, if you will. And it's basically this little Oriental hat that you see um, like people working in rice fields or something where it's a giant shade hat that has a green stud and a round 2x2 two two plate inside of each one. And then those plates have a little axle hole, so that will attach to the remainder of that little axle piece that's still sticking out on each one of these wheel assemblies. So that creates your wheel hubcap looking piece. It's a cool little detail, I like it. So that's the finished wheel assembly. Looks pretty good, if I must say so myself. All right. So next, we're going to build the little side panels for the the vehicle. Basically, consists of this whole piece. And then we use these cool little two by two plates. They look like a plate, but if you turn it over, you'll see there's two Technic pins on it. So it attaches to a brick, and you have the Technic pins, which will allow you to attach it to a Technic element. And then we have this little golden piece on there. jumpers on the top and bottom put a little bow shape and then we've got this little bionicle blade slash armor piece it goes there and then we can take this and you can see all these technic holes on the side We'll take this plate that has the Technic pins and line it up and attach it to right there. So now it covers up all those pinholes so you don't see them anymore. Um, let's see here. Okay. So this was a little bit hard to see what was going on in the instructions, but we have this little sway bar element that attaches to the two toe, ball, two toe balls that are on there. That way when you use this yellow piece to open it, this thing opens with it. It's kind of a play feature element. All right, so we're gonna build the body element for the other side now. Just going to be pretty similar to the one we just did. Looks like there's some differences though. Okay. It's slightly different because we have this whole Technic piece here that's um needing room for clearance so from here to about right there it's the same everything else back there is a little bit different okay next we have a flag with sticker number seven on it clip and then we have a navy blue 
kind of angled flag piece right next to it. And then a little Technic pin that goes there on the back. They give us extras because I'm not picking that up. All right, sticker number four. These will, these two stickers will finish out the sticker sheet for this set. launcher element little psi element pieces. And bring this over here, slide it over there. This Technic axle should slide through and connect to this other side and it does all right so we'll raise this element up the whole little launching piece opens up and we can remove the lid and insert one of these discs in here and you can launch it out. Actually works okay, I guess. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's actually supposed to be two little inverted tiles on the back. flag thing in the back is weird. It kind of wants to move around. So that completes the 
Um, Jay Walker one set. Have this little accessory structure. And you have Jay with his little, I guess it's a Ghostbuster type contraption where he can shoot the little ghost thing that's flying towards him. And then we have um, Bansha, which is one of the villains. And this is um, Gurkha. Gurkha? Sure, that's what we'll go with. Gurkha and um, Whale. That's W A I L, not W H A L E. It's like you're whaling, not like you're a mammal that swims in the sea. All right, so there you go. That's it for the Jay Walker one. Thanks for watching. Tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below, and we will see you next time.